Over the past decade, uh, techniques in neuroscience have really progressed so that we can collect very large data sets uh, of uh, physiological data, anatomical data, gene expression data, and only with neuroinformatics can we really analyze and come to grips with all these data. And at the Allen Institute where I am, we do a lot of large-scale projects, but uh, their value only it emerges with very sophisticated neuroinformatics tools. We share data, we analyze data, and uh, create these integrated products. Yeah, that, that's a wonderful thing about the Allen Institute. It is a completely open environment where all the data are shared even before publication, which is very unusual. Um, and I, I think it's going to become the standard for neuroscience that uh, even smaller institutes, individual laboratories, if you publish a paper, the standard will be to share data and only with the informatics tools developed by dedicated neuroinformatics uh, people and institutes uh, will that be possible. You know, there are a lot of tools out there, but only the very specialized people, mostly the people who develop the tools, use them. But if, if scientists who just have questions, but aren't trained in neuroinformatics and don't want to collect uh, every piece of data, they can look at a very large database, use the tools of, of informatics to answer a question in their field or pose a question in their field so they can go on and do you know, smaller scale science. The ease of use uh, both allows more people to get invested in the game of looking at big data, but it also just makes it more profitable. There are a lot of challenges, and I think perhaps the biggest is, is integration across scales and across different data modalities. You know, every aspect, uh, you know, anatomy, uh, physiology, gene expression, um, those pose very significant informatics challenges, but bringing them together, you know, relating anatomy to physiology, r relating gene expression uh, to physiology, those are very hard things, you know, both for informatics and just for basic research. Even though it's not best time in history for funding for science in general, it, it continues. But there are uh, a number of projects that come over and above the, the regular funding. So I, I think all of these big initiatives aren't taking away from the general pool of neuroscience or biology in general, but adding to the pool of different types of science. So I, I think. Uh, uh, you know, some scientists are afraid of big science taking over neuroscience, and I think it's, it's the exact opposite. I think that big science uh, will attract new money and provide tools for individual laboratories to, to do better work and will just you know, raise the profile of neuroscience. So it'll, it'll make a bigger pie for everyone, I hope.